Hello, my dudes. It is a sad day, depending on where you live in. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to make this video, and I'll probably keep it short anyway. I don't really like making negative videos, because I always try to be as positive as I can. Even when, you know, questionable stuff happens, I try to find good things in them. But um, this one, especially considering how much it affects me as well, is... Um, it's, uh, it's bad. So... If you have no idea what I'm talking about here, um, first of all, FGOJP announced the uh, increase in price for St. Quartz because of Apple changing their policies. This also applies to Google Play as well. Now, for the JP side, it's not that big of a deal. The prices are mostly the same. There's hardly much difference at all. That one, I can at least let slide. But then very fast afterwards, FGONA also followed suit in announcing this. Price changes to certain regions and countries. Now, this is the post they put out, mentioning all the affected countries. And uh, it's basically all of Europe. Even the ones that don't use Euro, like Sweden and Poland, also got affected. And apparently Chile as well. So, you know, a pretty a dent for the South American player base as well, I suppose. And for whatever reason, they didn't even list the UK here. Because a friend of mine who plays in the UK also mentioned their prices got jacked up as well. So that's kind of fun. They didn't mention the increase in prices of, uh, for UK. Now, again, if this was mostly like JP was, where the, uh, the change isn't that big, I probably wouldn't be making this video in the first place. But sadly, it's not insignificant. In fact, it is quite the opposite. It is very significant. Now, first of all, this is what you were basically looking at when buying Quartz with a European account in FGO before the change. Pretty reasonable, I would say. 70 euros more or less for the highest pack. Makes sense when you think about the conversions and all that. But then, now that the change is live, you will see this in-game. This is not okay. This is ridiculous. That is an increase in price by about 38%. That is just mind-boggling. Just looking at the difference, it's, it's kind of disgusting. It is ridiculous. It was only a few months prior that FGO uh, NA actually opened up in more regions, including most of EU as well. Which was nice, obviously, being able to, uh, you know, officially download and update the game via your platform, official platform, if you were from the EU. EU. But then we get hit by this update very soon afterwards, and uh, I just, <laughs> I'm having a real tough time just, uh, you know, making anything positive out of this, because there really isn't. This is horrible, just flat out. Now, in the post, they also mentioned the price changes to um, the other ones mentioned, uh, excluding UK for whatever reason. So yeah, um, it's all going up. It's just all going up. I just don't understand why the Euro one in particular just jumps so badly. The Euro is already kind of suffering at the moment because of the state of the world with the Ukrainian war going on and whatnot. It's actually even below, it's just below the dollar, USD right now, which is kind of crazy to me. It's like the first time it's ever happened since the euro has been a thing for like around 20 plus years now, depending on where you live in. And then this happens on top. Man, it's uh, disappointing is all I can say, man. It's just, uh, it's real rough. Now, obviously, most of uh, the people playing FGONA are probably from USA or Asia, if I had to guess. Definitely USA for the most part. EU is probably still in the uh, more minor side of uh, player bases, but come on, dude. Just come on. It's borderline extortion at this point with these prices. It's just unacceptable. I really hope they will change these at some point, because this, this, this is unreal. You hate to see it, man. You really do. And again, I hate making videos like this where I'm just, um, you know, basically complaining. Because that's all, this is just me venting. I just really wanted to, um, you know, say what I wanted to say. Because um, it sucks. It just sucks. Obviously, if you're not a spender, this doesn't concern you. you can, you're still going to have the same experience. 
for us to do spend in this game. This hurts. There might be also other reasons, obviously, for them doing this. It's not just because of greed, obviously. We don't know exactly the reasons as to why this happened. We can just have some ideas. But uh, it's, just, it's just wrong, man. I'm probably just gonna leave this video there. I'm just... I, I don't want to complain anymore, but... It's really hard not to, honestly. This is... This sucks. This just sucks. I'm guessing uh, in the near future, there's gonna be a lot of new uh, Google Play accounts or Apple accounts made with a VPN, if you know what I mean, in the near future. So, um... Okay. I hate it.